feel the excitement of Christmas coming with the third Advent candle. It is the candle of joy. What brings you joy? We have been blessed with snow mountains in Tisdale that you can climb up and slide down with warm weather so we can be outside and play with sisters and brothers. And look, people have decorated their homes and the streets with lights outside and Christmas trees inside. Everything sparkles and shines. In many homes, you can smell Christmas. It's Christmas baking time, and I know that Isla and Clark have been baking up <clears throat> a delicious feast of cookies with their grandma, Kareen. Just smell that wonderful aroma of baking cookies. Listen, there's music in the air on Main Street. <clears throat> Christmas carols, and in church too. There are carols that we sing year after year until we know them by heart, so we can carry the music of Christmas with us in our hearts, and it continues to give us joy. These hymns and carols tell of the story of Christmas, of the birth of baby Jesus, and how he came to live like us, like a baby sister or brother. But he was very special. Long, long ago, people listened to stories about a special baby who would be born. But no one knew when or where he would be born or who his parents would be. It was all very mysterious and exciting. And people waited and wondered. Then a bright star arose in the sky. Now, I'm going too slowly for it. Okay. Yeah. So bright star <clears throat> or... <clears throat> okay. Then a bright star appeared and people looked up and realized it wasn't an ordinary star. And they followed it. At last, the old stories were making sense. They followed with joy and anticipation. They could hardly wait. Just like it is hard for us to wait until Christmas Day with all the special sights and sounds and smells and tastes of Christmas. But we do wait, joyfully, while the days pass so quickly. Let's light the candle of joy. down 